So good morning all of you. Thank you. So students, this is very interesting that do you need designers and technologists and people like us to identify, uh, identify needs? Do ideas only come from the educated and people who are being uh, sort of, you know, having good idea about the uh, product or the systems or the environment? No. You must have heard about uh, Professor Anil Gupta who works on grassroots innovation. How many of you heard about Anil Gupta, Professor Anil Gupta? He is a professor from IIM and he only works with grassroots innovators. Who are grassroots innovators? Grassroots innovators are somebody like who is in their own domain and they are in their village and they have a problem and they will solve it. Like for example, one guy had this, you know, severe flooding in his village. He had to always cross, you know, uh, like hip deep water. So, he put two of those uh, bottles next to his cycle and he would pedal across. So, that became an innovation and people started seeing whether we could use it very regularly. Or for example, there is a very interesting farmer. What he did was, he said, my God, these insects which are hitting my crop are crawling from one field to another field. And they, they need and they have, they have these you know, tentacles to crawl. He said, if I put a plastic sheet between the two farms, you know, which is, which is very slippery, the insect will not crawl into my farm. And he covered his farm with his plastic sheet and he could, you know, he could prevent these insects from coming into his farm on this bun. And then he, you know, he saved himself from doing all the, uh, you know, uh, all the sort of, you know, pesticides and all those things. So, interesting, you know, situations like this are there all along these, uh, the, you know, activities. And like I was pretty inspired by him and he was, uh, you know, Professor Anil Gupta uh, also happened to be my examiner for my PhD. Remember I was telling you about my PhD program in IIT Delhi? Kitne ko yaad hai? <laughs> so, this PhD, because I like didn't have a PhD when I joined IIT Delhi, they said, karna padega. So, I went to Anil Gupta and said, would you guide me? I want to work in this grassroots innovation. It's very exciting. He said, Professor Jagrath, if you work on these areas, you will not get a PhD. You first finish off your PhD in industrial areas, like what I am teaching you now, like good industrial products and things like that, and come back. And then you can always work on grassroots innovation because the methodology is the same. Methodology does not change. Whereas in research, you need to build upon each other's knowledge. Whereas in the knowledge domain of industrial enterprise, you got huge amount of knowledge domain which you can use for that other purpose. So, we took that case and we started sort of going ahead and you know working with uh, the with the people uh, in the uh, uh, in the industries. Uh, you know I took seven industries as my example and did innovative projects for them and one project you know came to the market out of the out of the five uh, not seven sorry. So, this you know uh, uh, and then Anil Gupta came as an examiner for my PhD thesis. We have this PhD thesis examining. And then he, you know, was, you know, very, very happy to see the model and to see all these things. I said, like, we have to work together. So now, Professor Anil Gupta runs this course called, uh, you know, uh, uh, grassroots innovation in IIM. A lot of students, which is one of the most popular courses. He got, you know, a number of times he got the teaching awards in this course. As well as uh, there are a special sort of, uh, you know, the uh, 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 Yatra he does. So, in this show the Atra, what they do is all the you know students and the faculty go on a 16 or 14 day trip into rural areas and they try to find out how people are innovating. So, they go into you know areas where somebody has gen made a generator set out of you know some engine parts or you know somebody else has done some very innovative recipe for cooking. So, they will look at all domains from you know or very interesting domain is they found out some very good ways to uh, cure uh, the problems of the cattle. For example, you have a cow or there is a problem for the cow and then they have found some remedy, local remedy and that they will then pollinate everywhere. So, they also have another you know institution called uh, the honeybee network. So, they catch up one idea and tell this idea to everyone else that is why they call it the honeybee network and their organization is called the Shristi. Sisti is the NGO which runs and Professor Anil Gupta just retired. So, while I was head of the department, I said, my God, this man is phenomenal. I must get him as our visiting professor in IIT after he retires. So, we immediately, you know, moved the papers and, you know, I am very fortunate that he agreed and the director and all, you know, committee was very, very glad. So, he is now our 
visiting professor. So, I am going to invite him within sort of you know uh, 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 within the next one month for your course. So, he will be with us and he will be sharing all those things you know uh, of how he has been going about all his life what he has been doing and how innovation comes from kids, innovation comes from the needy people who are actually in the field and innovate and, and what is he expecting from all of us. He is pretty angry with people like you know uh, uh, who are very educated and who have all the resources but do not want to give back, do not exercise their knowledge to benefit the mankind or benefit the people who are in trouble. So, he you know uh, is very vehement in that saying that students, IIT students especially you know they are so good in their uh, uh, you know like uh, academics, they are so good in their knowledge, why cannot they apply this knowledge to the problems which are which the people are facing around. So, that is the whole you know challenge. So, why these are happening a lot of interesting things were happening at my end. Uh, we were also working with a very good organization which is called the Jaipur Foot. So, I will show you a small video of this organization. So, this Jaipur Foot is uh, did, did the media student see this video of the Jaipur Foot? Did I show you people any time? Uh, yes, sir. like I do not think so. You had shown it in the idea generation workshop. Oh, that in the workshop. So, not in this. So, I like to tell you about this story uh, and I ha and this uh, you know why I am showing this is that this you know is a very important journey where every technology, every design intervention, every aspect is there. But superficially you like it, kuch bhi nahi to kuch bhi nahi hai. So, you have to talk about what is the technology, what is the manufacturing hai, and what are these you know, wonderful things. So, we will watch the video and I will give a little background like you know I think the video also will tell you what all is happening. Then you can google you will see a lot of images, lot of in, you know interesting insights and we will you know uh, see all those also coming. But like from that point of view we will see that such an innovative you know uh, uh, aspect uh, with a collaboration of doctors, uh, technicians, craftsmen, large tire companies, big tire companies who are making the polymer and like you know uh, very good tooling companies from manufacturing all those people are involved in making this Jaipur foot. And this Jaipur foot is something where somebody uh, has an amputation because of whatever reason. Why do people lose their leg? First two benches. Accident very good next. Which accident? Car. Car accident wale ko kya taklif nahi hai ya car ke paas bahut paise hai. We are talking about people who are you know bottom of the pyramid. So, accidents of truck drivers, tractors are much much more they cannot even afford to you know do anything. You will see that in the video. Anywhere else how will you lose your leg? Both defects. Huh? Both defects. Both defects. They lose kate ka nina birth defect me. This is amputated, you know, leg is amputated. Very good infection. Oh God, in our farms, yeah, people do not wear chappal boots or whatever when they go to these farms and there are these nails there, and if the nail catches, they get, uh, you know, uh, uh, septic and they have to remove their leg, yeah. And you just check on the Google how many people lose their legs because of that infection. Very good. Anyway, uh, anything else? This side? Huh? Leprosy, I am not sure. Leprosy means pair cut the knee. Fingers are there, but pair ni cut. I am like amputation bull wrong. Train accidents, very good, excellent. Movies may be the kate na. Movies are the such a pair cut wata auto, alakate. But anyway, train accidents, very good. Any other uh, situation? Snake bites again, poisonous, you know, that could be snake bite. Adi mar jata hai, pair ke. <laughs> Anywhere else you can think of how you lose your leg? Gangrene. Gangrene, very good. You go mountaineering and you got your whole. You know what happened? I must tell you this story. You know, we had a program called Himankan in IIT. <coughs> Himankan, oh God, I was a student in 1988, and this Himankan program was one of the most sought out of programs. And my team of uh, mountaineers would organize excellent uh, you know, uh, trips. They would go and do the trips to the Himalayas, uh, and they would come back. They had base camp set up over there, and they would take us all, you know. Uh, in the winter. Unfortunately, one after some 20, 15 good trips, the 16th trip things failed. The guy, the two guys who got stuck on the how many feet high I do not know, 
guys had not carried their uh, you know like uh, 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 you know they had left their most of their gear they were not having their warm clothing and like you know i think one per, one of the students died the other guy had terrible frostbite we could and we could save those people but like there was uh, naturally there was a storm you know if everything is good nothing happens but only if there is an accident like the storm or you fall down things happen but our key students are so careful the people who organize this were phenomenal like like always like tech fest and mood they were very good i always love the programs which the students do they're so systematic so phenomenal so careful but this accident happened then the parents were furious of course parents will be furious so they were like they stopped the program Otherwise, this is like really sought after program, and it was very, very sort of uh, uh, intriguing and very experiential. Anyway, um, like so, that was the whole you know story of how that student lost all his fingers. I think the student is still there. We should Google and check where that guy is. We'll get some stories from him. Anybody working for the alumni office doing all the callings from this batch? Nobody. The TA ship करते हैं ना alumni office में गुलमोहर से first floor where people go and they keep calling all alumni. to bring them online so none of you are there right so check in the hostels if somebody is there we'll try to find out this guy you know in uh, 89 i think uh, you know had this frostbite anyway why i'm saying this is you know about just to remember this frostbite business and i thought i'll just tell you and then we had this wonderful boating i told the beta students about the boating beta students did nothing they in third year we, we told them in the first year that we need to start a boating club we had a boating club in the lake and it was phenomenal we had two large boats and as soon as i came to the campus i said my god is the boating karna itna acha lagta hai then they said you have to swim 16 lengths before you get a pass to go for boating <laughs> so i went into the pool learned swimming so like spent two months just getting to you know uh, get to getting those 16 lengths were ready you know dr reddy who is just retired now our swimming coach he would then sign he will check whether you are doing 16 lengths because even if the boat sinks you should be able to come back so that was the whole idea so after 16 lengths you are allowed to sort of uh, sort of you know uh, get permissions anyway just story after story so the like so now the, the issue is about our uh, you know any other ideas why people lose their legs industrial accidents heavy loads falling in factories very common huh industrial mein heavy loads girte hain then the the tractor toppling tractor topples and you know gets onto their leg that's a very very common uh, thing then uh, you know mostly it is infection then uh, like uh, you, you can you know check out you will see a lot of these uh, things but then tell me do people mostly lose both the legs or one leg why no mostly the people who lose both legs are dead because a very severe accident it's a very severe accident and you know when both legs are gone they're not there similarly with hand did you see anybody with two hands gone very rare for example we had every year i catch up with my own students who come with one hand we got you know you know one of the students have, you know was in that earthquake he lost his hand because they chopped his hand to pull him out and when they chop the hand to pull out what happens with the hand it when you operate the hand you operate carefully so that i can put a process is correctly right when you chop with a hacksaw the the tendons are not cut properly the bone is not cut properly like and then even your processes will not sit and they are all on, they are all on campus the students in fact yesterday i met one guy in hostel 3 mess anybody from hostel 3 yaar wo jo jiska haath nahi hostel 3 wale mein mila na mtech student hai na Ah, so I've been in touch. So whenever I see these guys, I basically go and talk to them and what happened. I think he had an accident. He was telling me, but I'm just saying that these. So now you also another important thing is even if you lost your leg, if it is not, if it is not amputated correctly, you can't even add, you know, you can't even do much to their, you know, support. But still, you have to support them. As a, when you look at these, you know, amputated uh, people. you know there's a lot of you know like you feel bad for them you want to do a lot of work but people never realize that it is not only one issue it's not that they lost their leg tell me what else will they would have they lost pair to kya yaar uske baad kya kya khoya hoga self confidence self confidence is very good or hope very good livelihood excellent yaar tu khada ho ja yaar 
क्लैप फॉर एमिया लाइवलीहुड रेड टी शर्ट वेरी गुड दे लूज देर लाइवलीहुड और वो कोई सोचेगा ही नहीं इफ दे लूज देर लाइवलीहुड वॉट हैपन टू देम दे कॉन्ट सपोर्ट एंड दे लूज देर लाइवलीहुड दे लूज देर फैमिली सपोर्ट दे कॉन्ट इवन so how many people are you know uh, out of uh, their family is gone they got into poverty they are like the whole they gets devastated and these guys are at very very small amount of they have a very small meager income so now we already found out that these guys like uh, you know uh, molish said that they lost their you know hope and motivation and you know and you'll be surprised that they are so good that they don't lose that much hope and motivation but the other things which they lose is this livelihood which is very very critical for them which you know because of already the amputation or the losing of the leg they already lost so much money so how do you service these people and there are so many of them in the country you will see in this video it is phenomenal this video comes from all aspects so we are talking about the cause you will see the cause we will talk about the best of technologies going them after this video we are going to say where are the technologies in this while we are seeing the video i want all of you to be very attentive to ask me a lot of questions about how this is getting implemented what is happening what are the new things you please keep asking me so we will you know go in detail and we'll check all this i'll run the video once there's a us student who has done this work and he has compiled the video so well that we have shot a lot of videos but we're not showing our video we always show his video and this guy worked with a professor in a, uh, in uh, in a school of management there and uh, like you will see is their their name in the michigan business school and he is an indian professor he is the one is a famous guy who did who coined the term bottom of the pyramid the you know and his book is called fortune at the bottom of the pyramid and that fortune is not money that fortune is the benefit to the user so you will see this jaipur food the fortune is getting a foot for extremely low cost and taking care of all your other three problems you know like which is what you are you are you know lost your hope motivation because you are already down you are you are lost your livelihood and you also lost your leg and you are also not educated the third one which the fourth one which is there so but, but anyway the the prof, the you know discussions from the video shows shows you that it is not one one handicap because of the loss but it's multiple handicap i just want to prompt you over here to you know show the care so we'll just watch the video and then uh, we will uh, get back in case we want to see we'll watch once more i think it's a short video not very long yeah we'll start hamara ye pehla pair kata hai ab ye the person ye sun 76 kata se anutha se masuk hai us samay hum kheti ka kaam karte hain kata tha uske 5 varsh ki umar kya karte hain 4 saal tak hum aise नहीं कर पाए उस समय जो बुरा वो तो वी आइडेंटिफाइड द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द हैंडीकैप्ड इन इंडिया एंड वी फेल्ड दैट दिस अपार्ट फ्रॉम द थ्री डिसेबिलिटीज दे आर फिजिकली हैंडीकैप्ड दे आर फाइनेंशियली एक्सट्रीमली पुअर एंड थर्डली गोस्ट द 99.5% Because 80% of Indian population is still working in fields, 
So they can feel what will be on the field and we don't have to change that location. The society's efforts to facilitate a quick and complete return to a more normal life begins with the fabrication of the foot. Jaipur foot pieces are prefabricated. The process is fast and simple, though largely manual. Foots and ankle assembly is made of vulcanized rubber compounds. Individual components are painted with rubber cement. Various toe and foot pieces are assembled together into one unit. Aluminium dye is used to cast a normal foot shape. Sole shape patterns are placed on nylon cords used for reinforcement. This unit is then covered with skin colored cosmetic rubber. Dye is tightened and placed in vulcanizer. After 20 minutes, foot is removed and is ready for use. With the foot already prefabricated, a patient's day begins at 9 a.m. Once registered and admitted by a doctor, the limb is prepared, marked, and wrapped. A trained technician forms the cast. The cast is removed and a mold of the limb is poured and dried, then carved to the marked specifications. An ordinary polyurethane pipe is placed in a vacuum forming machine and heated, then stretched over the mold and formed. Once cooled, the mold is knocked loose and removed. A japer foot is then attached and the prosthesis is fitted on the patient. Finally, the patient tests the prosthesis under the supervision of a doctor. Yeah, there we go. So there's so much captured in that. So let us see what all we have observed in the video, each of us. And let us see what, how it envelops the whole gamut. Where did it start from? Where did the design for the Jaipur foot start from? Cycle part, like very clearly said that cycle di khata bhot majboot hai, so why can't it become a foot? So from there, there's a whole long journey where that, you know, uh, uh, where the initial craftsman, he was actually a person who was act giving, uh, uh, he was a person who was, uh, you know, doing the, uh, uh, for polio kids, he was, in, you know, uh, giving them uh, those calipers. His job in the hospital, this, uh, you know, whole idea of, uh, you know, making calipers, then he said that I should do something where people don't have legs, so he went up and he said, why don't we use, uh, you know, uh, the rubber tyres. So, the first Jaipur foot came out of what, you know, the waste pieces of those uh, bathroom slippers with those foam slippers, all the waste strips were taken out, they were assembled. So, the design which you see is not the final design. It came out of a lot of iteration. They used all those slippers, put them together in a vulcanizer in a rubber domain. So, what happens when you put all these strips of the cut pieces See, they went to the manufacturer who manufactures the slippers. You have the round, when you punch the slipper out, you say you get all the outside waste. They used to collect all the outside waste, strip them and put them together and mold it and then use it as a foot. That was the first foot which came up and you know, it was successful. And then they went ahead and did further innovation. They you know, kept, why is this Jaipur foot? Let me ask you some questions, then we will get answers. Why is this Jaipur foot better than auto walk? which this Jaipur foot costs around 1000 bucks, Autobox, or Autobox costs around 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh. Why is the Jaipur foot better than the Autobot foot? It can take stress. It can take stress. It can take stress. From which way? Which way? Excellent, because when you press, in fact, I will, you know, put words in our, you know, answer. This is customized. You saw how they were taking each person's leg cast and they are being, so what happens, what is the most important thing in a prosthesis? It should fit tightly to your stump. That's the most important. What happens in auto work? It's a mass manufactured. So what do they do? SMLXL. What is SMLXL? 
<laughs> so it's sizes you can't make so whereas whereas in this how many sizes have 100 sizes live there in customization there are 100 sizes so when you have those sizes you have to adjust and the snug, it'll never be snug fit and the most important property of a foot which is sticking your stump which takes 60 percent of your load on your body is being given by this two percent because of excel manpower auto walk germany can't do that because they don't have that type of manpower to sit and measure everybody's leg and make a cast and give you the shape exactly to your leg foot that is one thing what are the other reasons tell me why is this foot better than the one is the cost it is affordable. it is it is it is affordable but why why is it affordable what are the reasons of affordability Locally done. Uh, very good. Also, the, the, the technology used, it's, it's like very manual intensive, so they don't have to. It is people out. incentive rather than machine intensive. But like uh, even auto walk, for example, is uh, mass manufactured. So, you know, from that point of view, you know, I'm just saying, why is it better? It is affordable, of course, it's less costly. But I'm just saying, it's less, I am telling you that it's less costly. And I'm, it's my question. I am saying it is less costly, that is very expensive. But why is this better? She gave a very good answer. Huh. It is ecologically sustainable. Not real. Not correct answer. From user point of view, tell me. Excellent. No maintenance. No tightening, no maintenance. And especially I'll I'll tell you the answer. When you go to rice paddy fields into water, this processes is completely sealed. Whereas the auto walk, it costs you 2 lakhs, but you can't go into the rice paddy field. It will all the water will ingress inside and have problems. What else? How is it better? Yes? It's possible to like change it after a number of years. That was your uh, auto walk has all the modular designs, you can change whatever you want. So they, like if for example, if, if there is let's say a, a person who is in the growing ages and has lost a leg, like, you can keep buying a new no, but the auto walk does better than us. We have to completely replace the leg. So it is cheap. We replace the whole leg. A small kid comes and he replaces. Lot of small kids come huh, for this uh, Jaipur foot uh, thing. Anybody else? What are all? What do you see in this uh, technology? Can you say how is it manufactured? It is full of casting. It's not casting. It's a rubberized vulcanizing. The first part is casting. So let me, you know, I think I need to explain to you in detail how the whole thing works. But anyway, from the user point of view, can you tell me how it is more, let me ask you another question. How is this, these are all my MDES uh, exam questions, huh? whatever I am asking you. So like, uh, so why is this foot, uh, uh, why is this foot, uh, uh, we asked better. So why is this foot, uh, how is it more uh, adaptable? I must not say adaptable. This foot is more for the Indian user. Why is it more suitable for the Indian user versus the auto walk? It design that context. Very good. But what is that context? It looks like a real foot. Very, very good. It looks like a real foot. Then what else? We don't know what the auto walk looks like. Auto walk, what is movies mein? It's like a proper shoe design. The autobog doesn't have a leg. That's why his point is very good. I, mine is a barefoot, whereas autobog is a shoe. Shoe jaga to mandir me ja sakega. So from that answer is that you can't go to temples, whatever. You can't go to your rice paddy fields in that shoe. The shoe will absorb all the things. What else? What are the user things? Then you can't sit cross-legged. You can't sit cross-legged with the auto walk. In this one, you can sit cross-legged because it's so snugly fit and it is so narrow that you can sit cross-legged. Anything else you co come into your mind? You can have natural movement. Natural movement is very good. It's, intuitive. it's very intuitive and immediate practice. You wear and you are able to walk. It's very sturdy. It's very, very sturdy because it's made up of integral material. Yeah, it's completely integral. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, rust. Oh, draw attention. Very good. That we talked about it looks like a normal foot. Very, very good. You can wear a shoe and go on. Nobody will make out whether you are sort of, you know, uh, amputated or not. Because the gait also is pretty good. You must have seen that movie, you know, like my, my age time, that Nacha Mayuri. She comes in all the serials now. It, the whole movie was made out of this Jaipur foot where that lady wore that foot and she 
danced you know so that was the you can google you will see that so anyway th those are now tell me if i say this jaipur fort i'll show you the video again and i'll ask you some more questions before we go let me show the video again this time carefully observe and then my question is going to be 2 3 one question is how is this very very high technology okay you have to find out the answers and how is this uh, like uh, you know uh, how is this uh, 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 addressing all the needs handicaps which he was talking about the multiple handicaps which that person was saying i was it's a very short video but nevertheless we'll run the video again please see the video again and kind try to observe what are other things which are uh, which are working in this So once again we'll watch and then I'll show you uh, you know later on whenever we have another free class we'll We identified the problems of the handicapped in India. And we felt that they suffered not from one, but three disabilities. They were physically handicapped, and they were financially extremely poor. And thirdly, most of them were illiterate. 99.5% of the people who come to us today are below the poverty line. Sir, this was मैं यहाँ सवाई मानसिक हॉस्पिटल के अंदर मुझे लोग लाए थे बच्चों को कोई काम सिखाया जाए आर्ट मेरा जो काम था वो मेरा खानदान हमारे दिमाग में आया कि जो है ये जो टायर होता है ये बड़ा मजबूत होता है जो है इसका पाव बनाया जाए तो जो है कामयाबी हो सकती है वी सेड वी डेवलप्ड एक फोर्ट सो वी डेवलप्ड ए we fill this with microcellular rubber, this is microcellular rubber, and the upper part was wood. So you can hold the shank. The biggest advantage is this movement, which oh, is there for the center. And there is a movement here. We are giving them a foot piece, which has got all the normal movements where they should be. And they last for four to five years. Uh, the, because it is made of rubber, the person can walk on uneven ground. He can climb mountains, he can climb trees. And the best thing is that there is no restraint of working in agriculture areas. Because 80% of Indian population is still working in fields. So they can freely work with this on the field and we don't have to change their profession. The society's efforts to facilitate a quick and complete return to a more normal life begins with the fabrication of the foot. Jaipur foot pieces are prefabricated. The process is fast and simple, though largely manual. Foot and ankle assembly is made of vulcanized rubber compounds. Individual components are painted with rubber cement. Various toe and foot pieces are assembled together into one unit. Aluminium dye is used to cast a normal foot shape. Sole shape patterns are placed on nylon cords used for reinforcement. This unit is then covered with skin colored cosmetic rubber. Dye is tightened and placed in vulcanizer. After 20 minutes, foot is removed and is ready for use. With the foot already prefabricated, a patient's day begins at 9 a.m. Once registered and admitted by a doctor, the limb is prepared, marked, and wrapped. A trained technician forms the cast. The cast is removed and a mold of the limb is poured and dried, then carved to the marked specifications. An ordinary polyurethane pipe is placed in a vacuum forming machine and heated, then stretched over the mold and formed. Once cooled, the mold is knocked loose and removed. A Jaipur foot is then attached and the prosthesis is fitted on the patient. Finally, the patient tests the prosthesis under the supervision of a doctor.
है ऐसा है कि जयपुर से भी खबर मिली है और वहाँ से गुजारा है और हमें बड़ा हमें अच्छा लगा है इसलिए अच्छा लग रहा कि हम जीव के तो हम चलने लगे हम चार पाँच किलोमीटर चले जाएंगे और आए भी जाएंगे हमारा तो सर सब दिन का काम खेती का है ऐसा तो मैंने घंटा से कोई बात करे हो या Yeah, so we'll go. Uh, so, so the first one, poverty. How did they take care of the issue of poverty? One by one from the back. So they are like, after they lose their leg, they've lost their livelihood for three months. They have no food to eat. So what the, so, in fact, I must tell you what they do is. Uh, he was talking about they come in the morning. and by evening you get your leg so they come by the morning train when you reach the location they are given breakfast the whole family comes the the children a small child wife they all come they are given breakfast because they have not even eaten for a number of days so you get them breakfast and after breakfast you have all your food processes ready because your mass manufacturer kept them they go for sml excel like the shoes whereas the customized hardware is done day and then at that time by evening you're done and you're out of the place in a day this type of service is not given anywhere and this is happening just because they just can't afford to stay more than a day out of their location they you know and they have very little money to go so then you know like this video doesn't talk about it then what they do is while they are going they are given a kit three kits women get a sewing machine kit so that they can go back home and start a sewing business men get a uh, a hand uh, you know operated cycle or a leg operated cycle bicycle tricycle and they can do various operations and they can travel they, they make them easy to travel and also they get a uh, they got a ticket that is they can put a tea shop after they go by they can't drive a, because most of them uh, you know though they can drive a truck lot of them drive truck with jaipur fort but uh, you know the police doesn't allow them so like uh, uh, so they lose their driving so they they put up uh, you know either pan shops or they put up t shop so they given those kits because they have no money so the whole kit is given to them and they with some amount of deposit that is given money so that they can go and set up their life so you just giving their leg is not enough you do the whole system activity which is phenomenal in this uh, in this uh, you know and this person for example i think 3 to 4 years he, did, he had lost his leg and he came very late to jaipur even to get money to come to jaipur to put the food itself is big now we have uh, you know like facilities all over the country you know it has come up in a big way in various hospitals now tell me the next interesting thing each of you have to give me one answer for this why is it really really a mix of man skilled manpower and high technology at at various levels of building this product anyone to begin with the high technology what are the material high tech materials high tech manufacturing high tech thing it's flexible of course it's flexible all those features we have come out with but what are those points which are there what is microcellular rubber those slippers which you wear how is that made it's very very high end polymer chemistry you're using the property resilience property you know like uh, you're using the you know like uh, what do you call those terms in structural engineering you uh, you know uh, cyclic loading property and it doesn't get, get stiff and then what they have done they have used multiple layers of that so what happens when you use multiple layers of that it becomes it becomes very close to the way your leg works so very very high technology material organized one on top of the other like slabs to give you tremendous amount of strength what is the next thing anybody else quickly very good so after that what have you done with this thing that was rubber cement not pu they used vulcanizing rubber cement who makes this rubber cement the largest companies like modi they have the largest chemical labs so this rubber cement comes from the best chemical labs and where is it used it is used for retreading of tires very very high technology in retreading you can't take risk right retreading tire ka agar tire nikal gaya to company ka kya ho jayega aadmi mar jayega car mein aur company ko sue ho jayega right so your your material property of adhesion property because when the tires go bald to save the tire you go for retreading you seen this retreading right all of you know retreading of tires yeah so it's a very common thing what they do they take this old tire put in a die and pump in vulcanizing rubber with rubber cement so you get a 
new tread on the tire till it again wears off. Because the tire body is very strong, it's got a wire inside and you know why to you know throw the whole body, it's a very good thing to do. But then technology point of view, the researchers are working in you know biggest companies like Modi, Continental, they work on how to make this rubber cement so that it sticks to the old tire very effectively. They go to the microstructures and find the anchors in the molecules and in the you know at the level of now I should use all those terms we have been you know as part of the other course we visit the safe safe lab on the center for nanotechnology. So we saw how the microstructure of adhesive works, how you actually lock each other in. So you design the rubber cement so that the locking the adhesive locking is phenomenal very very high technology. Okay, so you you took these slabs and you wrapped with, you pitted rubber cement so it's already you know locked and then you cord it with rubber cord, vulcanizing rubber strips. These are also used in retreading industry and you also have in cycle shops those strips of vulcanizing rubber strips. So you wrap it around with this. Then what have you done? You made this into a single module. Then you put this into nylon cord in the end. Thread and nylon cord comes in the end. Uh, this was nylon cord, they also have thread inside, very good, nylon, ni no it is not nylon, thread in pregnant actually, did he say nylon in the video? Uh, he did not know, you know maybe this boy, you know. so it is a, it's a, uh, it's a thread, you do not have nylon thread, it is a normal thread inside the tyre, so the thread is uh, sort of uh, reinforced inside the, uh, inside the tyre, so it comes in on top of it. Okay, so then what happens, you put all these together and you wrap them again with uh, strips of, uh, rubber strips with uh, thread. So, it is all become one single unit now. So, what are the units made of? The front which is equal to my leg front, there is a back which is also in the cellular rubber. So, they made a joint between the two, they did not put it one. So, there are joint of two because I want a flexibility in the middle. So, they put two blocks and the third block is the wooden block. I will tell you the properties of the wooden block, very very high technology like and like it, it all happened and it all been you know went up but it is come very good. So, you put all this together and then you do something called. Uh, like vulcanizing of this which is again you know using aluminum dyes and mechanical engineering furnaces you vulcanize at the right temperature so the vulcanizing happens correctly if you over vulcanize what happens it will become brittle if you under vulcanize it is not cured so again very very clear thing and then cosmetic uh, silicon rubber for the look of the leg you put that in and that also is very well done through strips so you get a single foot run and at the other level look at the other level what is that pipe that plastic pipe which was being used, what is the material you know? Poly? He was saying polyurethane but now they are using polyethylene, it is much cheaper, much better, it is not polyurethane, it is polyethylene pipe. So what happens with polyethylene pipe? Polyethylene pipe are the same pipes they are used for irrigation purposes on long distance irrigation and the biggest companies like, which is the biggest company in irrigation? Philolex. No, Philolex is an electrical wire company, they also I think give agriculture pipes, I am not sure. Which is the other one? Jain irrigation. You heard about them? And who is the biggest plastic manufacturer in the country today? Plastics, yaar. Chemical engineering, who is here? Who is here? Chemical engineers? How come we do not have any one person from chemical engineering this time? Who is the largest manufacturer in the country who is making plastics now? Polymers? Huh? Yaar, ek hi company to hai, sab kuch karta hai, Reliance. <laughs> they bought everybody, they bought everything. So, you know, they have the Patal Ganga plant where they are taking petroleum out and they are making polymers, everything. So, Reliance now makes polyethylene, they make, they make, you know, multiple things. They bought over all the government companies. There is the largest polymer company which they also purchase now. So, like, uh, so they are in the total circle. They do, they do petroleum. They also have bought rigs. You heard this? They take gas, they supply gas. From petroleum, they have gone into making petrol stations, you know Reliance has got petrol stations from uh, and they are there and now from petroleum all uh, in the, you know the petroleum is done by cracking, you know what is called? The, the petroleum uh, uh, by giving different, different, uh, what is it called? From petroleum oil to various products? Distillation. Distillation? Cracking, but it is, uh, uh, what is it called? Distillation only? No. It's not called distillation, I'll tell you. Something else. 
of course uh, 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 like uh, anyway we'll get the term so you uh, in all these when you petroleum when when it is uh, crude oil when it is brought out and when it is distilled whatever fractional distillation at each level you get different different things at the bottom most kya milta hai ha bitumen road banta hai usse na uske baad tar jo bitumen tar us aise aise pure aate hai so this relies on to be in every sector of that so he has the petroleum which is bringing out he has the distillation towers and he will go to every level he is selling petrol at the highest level he is uh, selling uh, you know the plastics in the middle all the plastics come in the middle polymers all the polymers like you know ethylene benzene all those whatever they bringing in use all the polymers from polyethylene to uh, you know like uh, you know, polypropylene he is making all the polymers so this particular pipe coming back to the story is done by polyethylene and polyethylene is one of the toughest poly polymers the cheapest polymer and where is the most common play place where you use polyethylene ha huh? plastic nahi plastic bags mein mehanga ho jata hai polyethylene ha water bottle bhi bahut kam use hota hai wo wo jo sabse mehanga wala water bottle hai wo polyethylene wala hai jo apna what is that call with that nice tupperware wala shayad hai polyethylene what else yeah most common polyethylene ha huh? kahan use ho raha hai bags mein ghar ka pa pani ka apna doodh ka packet doodh ka packet polyethylene packet hai and the, what is that polyethylene and what is the difference between the polyethylene which used in bottles the the polyethylene which is in the bag is low density polyethylene <laughs> LLDP and the one which is in bottles called HDPE high density polyethylene and the one which is in the pipe is high density polyethylene and it is you know polyethylene is olefin in nature its chemical composition olefin olefin means like both wo like it rejects everything so apne doodh ka packet dekha hoga doodh dalne ke baad bahut kam doodh chipakta hai that's the olefin nature of polyethylene and that's very very useful so like and it's easily moldable you see how well he's molding it you just heat it then what happens with polymers if you heat it more what will happen it will cause beyond its glass transition temperature it will start burning so you have to heat it at the right temperature and there's a temperature window for example if polyethylene i'm not very sure it could be 120 to 130 degrees so within that 120 to 120 degrees i need to form this thing dekha fata fat kheech raha tha na he was forming it very quickly and once you form and once it sets it is as good as a pipe why what are these polymers called they are called thermoplastic and there is something called thermosets what does it vulcanizing rubber thermoset that's why when i put in the dye and i close and i freeze once i can't i find i can't remelt it so we got that pipe which is very very high irrigation pipe so what happens when it's in a very uh, irrigation pipe tell me it's produced in large numbers what happens something is produced in large numbers it's available at low cost high technology polymer used for irrigation pipes available for me for low cost see now you seen the whole connection how everything i am coming from very very high volume tire industry retread industry high volume vulcanizing high volume bringing it down to the use in the jaipur fund jaipur is just costing me 1000 bucks it is an ecosystem which is working it is just not that one one innovation are you all following we'll go you know more detail so what else is there after that the whole thing is there then that they, they were wearing those uh, uh, double uh, knitted uh, uh, socks you seen that stump was covered by uh, a socks that a german company supplies that double knitted socks because they want to you know so it's a very very high highly woven uh, 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 very interesting uh, uh, you know like uh, braiding in that socks is not like a normal socks and it also lets you breathe when you wear so the success is just not coming from one one thing it's coming from multiple levels so you wear that on the stump you wear that socks which is a double walled you know like there's some name for it and it is a specially woven thing and special fabric i think it uses nylon in that those is nylon socks i'm not very sure and then you you put on your uh, processes and then you you know belt it up so that it doesn't come off and you go and you know what happens how do you connect you saw the wood in the leg have you all noticed the wood what is the purpose of the wood mm, very good where the, where there should be rigidity at the at the place where i am locking it it should be very rigid excellent that's a good answer what else 
very very good wood is a very good shock absorber next you can reduce the weight too wood is lighter very good next there it is it's a composition so balancing is not a critical issue it could be any other material i could aluminum also and balance it right same volume to structure balancing will happen from volume to structure no the structure is the same so balancing is not part of the wood thing anything else why is what is the wood doing there and we have to do so much research on the wood the wood is joining to the top plastic part you are putting this plastic pipe on top of the wood and what are you doing how will you join the wood to the foot nails they galat bol rahi hai nails nails maar maar ke wo log kharab ho jata hai unka foot so they use screws and now tell me there is a wood piece inside on top of the wood what is there vulcanizing rubber tape and on top of the tape what is there polyethylene pipe and you putting a screw through polyethylene pipe it's entering the uh, uh, cosmetic rubber which is the silicon rubber then it is entering the vulcanized rubber then it is entering the wood got it who will design the screw nobody we worked for 8 months on the screw huh? i'll tell you the story later on <laughs> so so nobody designed the screw so what happened they bought a self tapping screw from the market from a carpenter carpentry market and they fitted these screws so what happens with these screws you go to the farm rust ho jata hai to kya karega rust ho gaya to mochi ke paas jayega mochi kya karega isne keel bana na isne bola mochi keel marega keel marega to kya hoga polyethylene ko fatega and i went there i saw this foot one guy who thing came all the way from chennai to jaipur and you know his whole leg was having these nails and it like it was like looking like uh, the cross of jesus yaar i said nail sab tarah se nail mara tha fir bhi wo fat raha tha fir bhi pakda nahi <laughs> i was like there i said my god i should do something about it i came back work for 8 months only on designing the screw i'll show you the screw and we sent them the screws i said i'm going to give the screws for free you know i'm going to so we designed the screw and what are the yeah, mechanical engineers kitne log hai mechanical bahut kam log hai yaar aajkal kya hai koi haath hi nahi uthata barabar uthana yaar when i say mechanical you look you should be proudly lifting your hand only two mechanical engineers here three aur kon hai wo to pata nahi sharma raha hai doesn't matter so yaar screw how does the screw work rake angle of the screw rake angle of the screw do you saw the rake angle which is an angle when you uh, when you put the screw inside it should not slip out right so what type of angles are important the angle is different for different materials now i got four materials over there dear so what type of angle will i use for the screw to go inside very very challenging very difficult solution so we finally you know made amortization finally what we found you know the grain of the direction of the grains of the wood also is important you know woods have grains if you if you put the screw across the grain what happens it is strong if you put along the grain the screw comes off so we had to give specifications to them ki reject the wood pieces which come along the grains take only the wood pieces which come you know horizontal to the grains then this is the screw stainless steel screw you have to use this is a small rake angle we created a small rake angle so that you know it passes through pu and it passes through wood and it's very strong and we gave the dimensions then to get the dimensions we gave the drill bit said that this is the only drill you need to use don't use any drill bit so that the thing is tight and finally it got through anyway we are running out of time so it is so intense that even a small thing like a screw matters for the jaipur fort and it is a very interesting combination of multiple technologies multiple resources and very interesting organization the whole schematic of putting together and interesting collaboration of technologies doctors you saw this md doctors two md doctors they actually study the gait of the human being they know where the joints are where the points of you know uh, joining are there they study the orientation of the leg and they do have laser marking measurements they measure that you know through laser marking i'll show you those next videos detailed videos online you please see it online i'll give you the links so like those are done and because of that very high 
doctors intervention very high technology intervention intervention very high material intervention and very high social intervention you see what the social intervention is that this ngo is now the world famous ngo they put this jaipur food all over the world in africa and in, you know uganda all locations they have this and he came uh, this man who was on the dr mehta came for our um, you know uh, we have this festival social festival what's the name of the social festival abhyudaya he was called last um, uh, year for abhyudaya festival so i was there i received him and i was with him for the abhyudaya festival he made a presentation Uh, dr mehta about how this thing went okay so like uh, i think uh, i thought i will just share this case study with you because it's an interesting combination i didn't want to start a uh, you know three part case study where you know my uh, uh, and then you know break for mid sem and then again start the three part so we'll start the post box letter box case study you know uh, one after the other after the mid sem exams okay so friday we are all meeting friday uh, this friday uh, and all of you have to finalize your three three checks what are three you know problem areas which you are finding out and which problem area you chose and why you chose okay your group has to make a quick presentation and the presentation not last more than 3 minutes one 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 three con you are showing three serious areas of intervention for the elderly and you lock in on the check so we complete the check aspect of our uh, of our module in the studio class on on this friday okay